Today we are talking about dark academia. I'm going to be taking you with me to a thrift store. I'm going to be showing you different items that I feel fit the aesthetic. So that way when you go thrifting, you can kind of use this video as reference. Because the thing is, there are so many different videos that are like, oh, thrifting hauls, right? But they don't take you to the thrift store to show you why they chose it and how they found it. Because sometimes I wonder, I'm like, did you actually find that during that trip? Or have you gone back like five times and then you found it? So the video I'm showing you though, I did only go once and there were a ton of different things that I found. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, guys, but let's talk about Dark Academia for a quick sec in case you don't know what it is. So the aesthetic Dark Academia is derived from the book The Secret History, and if you want to learn more about the interior design behind Dark Academia, I do have a video dedicated just to that. I'll put it here. Dark Academia is an aesthetic that romanticizes academia, classical education, intellectualism, and it often focuses on darker themes such as morality, existentialism, and the pursuit of knowledge. Think classical art, Ivy League campuses, vintage fashion, creating a distinct aesthetic characterized by old books, tweed blazers, candlelit libraries, and a reverence for learning and tradition. So when you think of dark academia interiors, think of Harry Potter. Think of the castle. Think of that dark, moody vibe. It's all candlelit. You know, that's exactly what you want to go for. Also, you can look at Yale. You can look at Oxford. You can look at the Dead Poets Society. There are many different movies and TV shows that you can look to for this sort of aesthetic and on ways to bring it to life. And I'm just showing a few photos here and giving you a few options as well. Now that you know what DA is, it's time to curate a list in your head of things that you want, colors you want, and go find them. The reason I say this is because if you go thrifting without any idea of what to look for, you will always, 99% of the time you'll leave with nothing. Firstly, I would consider the accent color that you want in your space. I personally go for golds. I also will go for dark wood tones. And I'll also go for silver, depending on if it's tarnished. I don't like a nice, clean, polished silver. I like an aged silver. I'll also look for anything that is darker in color. Could be a burgundy, a navy. It could be a lamp. It could be a vintage book. Now that you know what to look for, it's time to go to the actual store itself. Look at your local Goodwill. Whatever local thrift store you have in the area, go to those basic ones, I would recommend looking up what neighborhood is <laughs> more expensive and going to a thrift store near that area because people are just getting rid of maybe old vintage items because they're renovating a house and they don't care about it, but like I do. So that's a really good tip. Thrift stores are a really good option, but it is going to be a lot more digging. And besides your local thrift stores, you can go to an antique store. This is normally a curated selection that someone is handpicking from all over, and pieces from antique stores normally end up being more expensive because people actually have to go out and find those pieces to put into that store. It's not like people are donating them, so it's definitely much easier to find better pieces this way, but it can be a bit out of budget depending on what your budget is. And the next option would be estate sales. Estate sales are incredible for finding decor on a budget because you can actually negotiate while you are there. And the way that estate sales work is the last day of the estate sale, everything's normally 75% off. So you are guaranteed to get a really good deal on items you will find. There is an app for this. I'll list the app below, but if you've never done it, you have to try it. It's gonna be your new favorite thing. It's so much fun going to estate sales. The next option would be by using sites like Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. And the last option is garage sales or yard sales. The reason I put this last is because it's kind of hard for me to find these. I will go to them and stop when I see them. I'll do a quick drive by, see if there's anything interesting and stop if I think there is. But other than that, I don't really actively search for them because I don't really find them too much. And you can also just drive around and look for furniture that has been thrown out on the side of the road. I found this just outside my apartment on the side of the road and people are moving and they, they're having the city come pick it up, people are more than welcome to grab it. And I will be the first person to go and grab something that I think looks cool. So I, I, there's no shame. There's no shame. So definitely, you know, you can do that as well. 
So those are all the methods that I use to find items for my home. So let's go to the thrift store. So I went to an antique mall with my friend Kiki and I swear, when you go to these places, you need to go with someone that is good at finding things too because it's so helpful and you'll find good things together. So this is a hand-picked antique store, so the prices do vary, but you can find some good deals still, which is why I really liked this place. Now, it can be very overwhelming when you go to these places. That's why it's so important to know what you're looking for and what accent colors you want, because as soon as you see those colors, you can go towards that item. And I'm not gonna lie, it was relatively easy to find dark academia stuff here. Right off the bat, there were lots of dark pieces of furniture, lots of dark wooded decor, which is perfect. I just knew I could go right towards that item and see if it was something I would want. And if you're not just looking for decor and you're looking for furniture as well, this goes hand in hand. So if you see anything that's dark wood that works in your place, that's affordable, just grab that. I mean, look at this little piece. This is so cute and it's perfect for DA. Even this coffee grinder, I've always wanted these old school ones. I think they're really, really neat and they're functional, which is awesome. I even found this can opener that has a wooden handle and I don't know how clean this is, but man, it looks super cool. Now moving on to some other functional items, but they may not be functional, who knows? You could probably get them fixed. And that is old cameras. I think these are really cool items to display. They're vintage and they fit really well with the aesthetic. And since we're on the topic of cameras, I also found an entire box of vintage photos. Vintage photos are so cool. I mean, what's better than getting actual vintage photos instead of buying some online that are just made to look vintage. And portrait walls are commonly seen in the dark academia aesthetic just because maximalism is a common theme. So if you ever see vintage photos that look cool, go ahead and grab those. Another item I saw lots of were books. I see these at all thrift stores and I also see them on those secondhand shops online as well. I got my Harvard classics from places like Savers, from Goodwill, and they were next to nothing. And it's even better if it's actually something you're going to read. Then I moved on into the dishes section. This is a good spot to look for some tea sets or some vintage floral plates. I personally like that, but you know, if you don't, it's not your thing, that's fine. Don't, don't go for that. I found this crystal ice bucket along with a shaker, some decanters. Decanters are great. Whether you drink or not, you can always put water in them. You can put alcohol in them. And then on top of that, you can get a bar cart and maybe you could even thrift one and display it on that and have a section dedicated to these specific items. And these items, glassware, crystal, it's so easy to thrift. I always find glassware every thrift store I go to. Another item I found lots of were small vintage bottles, and these are great if you want to have kind of like an apothecary station or just even put your spices in so you can display them in your kitchen. And along with that, you can look for some tins. I found some tins to hold tea. Look how cute this is. And I also found some vintage containers to hold spices. So if you're looking for containers to display your items in an aesthetic way, this is a really good way to do it. And it's in red. It's perfect color for a DA space. Now, when I continued on, I came across some other things like this. I don't even know what this is. Someone tell me what this is. I like it. It's all black. It looks really cool. I also found this vintage typewriter. In fact, there were many of these, but I do not think they worked, but you could get it fixed if you wanted to use it. And then I moved on to the lamps section. I personally prefer them secondhand just because when you buy them new, you can tell they're new. Look how cool this is. This is used, it has a dark green tone. It has a gold accent color. This one, also cute. I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong getting a thrifted lamp. Next, I went searching for those accent colors I mentioned earlier. I ended up finding a brass teapot. This is super cool. You always have to make sure though that these things aren't rusted on the inside if you are going to buy them used. I also found this beautiful pitcher in silver and I don't know why it looks gold here. I swear it's silver. I also found a fruit bowl and this pretty mirrored tray which has ornate detailing on the outside. And I mean, you could also display this on a wall just as a mirror. 
And then I found this mirror as well. And although it's not what you might think could be DA, it is, it still works. You know, it's all about finding what you can and making it work in your space. And even something as simple as this, it's a napkin holder and it's in that accent color that I was going for. Next, I found a trunk. I found a couple of them, but this was my favorite one. I have one in my apartment that I use as storage and I also use it to display because it looks awesome. But these are really cool additions to a space that are extremely unique. And here are some examples of them displayed in people's homes, just so you get an idea of what you can do with these pieces too. And last but not least, you gotta look for some figurines, some Greek busts or any busts that you can find. And just anything in white, anything that looks old will work. And as you can tell here, I happened to find a few and they would have worked perfectly. So hopefully that helps you when you are on the hunt for different items, just seeing what I found in one trip. I feel like a lot of people ask me this. So since I'm here and I'm kind of talking about dark academia decor and thrifting it, I'm gonna tell you where all of my pieces are from specifically so you have an idea. Everything is thrifted here. So this chair I got from Facebook Marketplace, this picture frame I got from an antique store, these sconces I got from an estate sale, this sheet I got from Deseret Industries, this light I got from a garage sale, this bookshelf I got from the side of the road, this bookshelf I got from Facebook Marketplace, and every single one of my books are thrifted unless they were given to me. I know a lot of people ask, so I just figured I'd break down. So that is it. As you can tell, it's pretty easy to find what you're looking for when you go to a thrift store and you know what you want. There's a lot of different things that you can get that will work in a DA space, whether you buy something and it's not the right color and you kind of DIY it a little bit. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So I hope that this video helps you during your next thrifting adventure. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer here or you're like still kind of confused about something that I didn't answer, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite part about this video was and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>